Hey, aren't you that Midwestern mom? It's oh, hi there, I sure am. You want to go for a boat ride? Wait, how did I end up in a kayak with that Midwestern mom? Let's rewind the tape. Aren't you that Midwestern mom? Oh, hi there, I sure am. Do you want to walk around Shady Oak Beach today? Absolutely, I do. It was totally by accident. Um, I posted a jello salad on St. Patrick's Day in 2021 and it blew up because I didn't have any followers. It got 30,000 views and then I posted another one and everybody loved it. And somebody told me I reminded them of Kitty Foreman or Rose Island. Mm -hmm. And my mom's a hairdresser on Main Street. And so I had her put my hair in like the old fashioned curlers. And um, I went to the grocery store to get jello salad ingredients and I recorded myself at the grocery store with curlers in my hair. And <laughs> mind you, it was still like the middle of the pandemic, yes. face mask and that video blew up oh and then gosh. everything just went from there wdiy out of fargo interviewed me the jason show called and then everything just kept propelling oh and gosh. so here we are <laughs> well you know i'm from way up north um <laughs> so uh, i do think the accent gets thicker the closer yeah, to the canadian border that you get true. especially once you get to bemidji it is a bit um exaggerated of course <laughs> for comedic effect but don't you know every single one of us midwesterners uh, all of us minnesotans we can just pull it out of our back pocket like a party trick <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, those TikToks? I'm sorry, no. It's like, that's okay. oh my god. And then I just saw the Oreo one with the... Yeah, that's the newest viral yes. one. So that's my god, which is exciting. You don't think that like these people actually live in Minnesota? <laughs> no, they do. <laughs> like in the middle of nowhere in Minnesota. <laughs> Oh, so that's happened. That <laughs> happens. That happens a lot. My children get a little sick of it, but they mm. also kind of love it. 30% um, of my following on just TikTok is in the Minneapolis oh, area. Wow. So it's a lot of people yeah. that live down here that follow me. I have been everything under the sun. I'm a trained opera singer oh, wow. um, and theater major. Oh. Um, I have a degree from the Peabody Music Conservatory of Johns Hopkins University and my master's degree from the University of Maryland's opera studio, but took time off to raise my kids and uh, kind of ended up back in the Midwest. I've collaborated with a lot of um, people and it's been my favorite part of the job yeah. because I think when you get with another creative person who's kind of doing this and constantly mm -hmm. thinking about what yes. content can look like and what your videos can look like, your ideas just start bouncing off the walls mm -hmm. and, and you get really, really creative yeah. when you're with like-minded people. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so last year I just went down to Pride and every step I took, somebody recognized me. Mm. And so I had an apron on that I made last minute that just said that Midwestern mom hugs have a bigger role this year. Um, and so they asked if I would emcee the parade, which of course I said yes. Um, and I said, you know, some friends of I have been talking about doing a Midwestern mom drag show. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wow. Not necessarily dressing up like me, mm -hmm. but dressing up what they would perceive the perfect Midwestern oh. mom to be. So we're really, really hoping um, that takes off. So we've made it to the kayaks. Can um, you canoe in a dress? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do have lots of things that I wish would go viral, but you, it never you, it never goes the way you want it to. <laughs> when I was in England, I met with the um, 2017 runner-up to the Great British Bake Off. His mm. name is Stephen, and we're friends now. And it was raining in London that day, and so I had my hot rollers in, mm. um, because if I took them out, my hair would fall in the rain. <laughs> and people lost their minds <laughs> that I went grocery shopping in my hair curlers and it has gone so viral on Facebook I'm still getting messages wow. about how I shouldn't walk around in hair curlers or <laughs> that's weird or it to the Americans it was the strangest thing to go viral yeah. because it was just filler content it was just mm -hmm. content that I put up to like have a bookmark for the day you yeah know? I, I get recognized almost every trip I do it's not like constant or all day yeah but I was recognized in the Heathrow airport oh wow uh, I was recognized on the side of a mountain in Iceland she recognized my laugh from the Jason show oh. um wow. Marsha from Hudson Wisconsin <laughs> ah shout out Marsha mostly everybody asked about the green dress usually I wear a green mm -hmm. dress um and I think it just kind of became um since I have to do the hair and the pearls yeah. and the lipstick I'm not always made up yeah um and so i thought if i was wearing the green dress all the time then people would recognize me as that midwestern mm. mom um and it has worked uh but that was just a joke i bought that dress for homecoming when i was still teaching mm -hmm. um because our school colors are green um and then everybody loved how i looked in green and i don't wear green a lot so that just kind of became the signature color but it's really just you know vintage dresses and um knowing it was at least one thing i didn't have to think about when i needed to film content mm -hmm. since i have to think about the hair and the makeup so I, at least i knew what dress i was gonna yeah. wear <laughs> so how do we find you online well i am that midwestern mom everywhere instagram TikTok, uh, facebook and youtube
Thanks for watching this episode of Trails and Tales. We have new episodes coming out every single week interviewing some really cool Minnesotans. Make sure to follow us for more and you'll see us on the next episode. See you guys later.